Hi guys. Yet yeah, this room probably doesn't look any different from the last vlog. That's because it doesn't. <laughs> um, but I've been out all day today, so I haven't had a chance to basically start with the tardy up, which is what I've got to do. Um, find a home for a few things and just generally tidy up. I mean, that electronics kit will either go up there somewhere or I just might just take it under there for now. Um, I've got another bike. Got it off Biggles this time. Yep, I've got another little folding chopper bike. Um, he only wanted it for the back wheel because he wanted the um, hub out of the back wheel. Well, that doesn't matter because I've just converted it to a single speed by um, throwing in a old rear or an old BMX back wheel. So, uh, yeah, that's fully rideable. That's all I did. Throw the back, throw the front wheel back in, put the tire and tube on a BMX wheel I had sitting at Mum's, and Bob's your uncle. One rideable bike. Um, uh, this morning I did put all the games in place. Um, they are stacked in some sort of order. Now I've got sort of like uh, first person shooters. Eh, this is hard. First person shooters, driving games. Um, platform games, and then on that shelf next to the PS1, I sort of some random multiplayer games, um, like The Weakest Link, King of Bowling, tr Bowling True Pinball, etc. And I pretty much did the same with the, um, the PS2 games. And I've got the Amstrad in place, the Mega Drive over the back there with the um, few games I've got for that, five games. <laughs> One of these days I will buy some more. Um, I haven't powered anything on to see if it works, but I pretty much know it's going to work anyway. Uh, but in the process, I did find some duplicate games. And a game that I don't even want, like Guitar Hero. I, I'm never going to use that, so. There's a couple there, and the getaway down there. I've got the platinum version of the getaway, so I didn't think there was any point in keeping both. So, I'll get rid of one. It might get me a pound. Uh, I think I've made a decision on my light up the top there. Emo's running around the flat like a blue arsed fly. Mind out. You'll get on my wig. Right. I'm just going to use this. How's it? It'll be oops, um, hidden up under there. I can just wire a cable straight onto that plug and then plug it straight into a socket at the other end and all I've basically got to do is get a couple of screws and go boink <laughs> job's done one light or it could even have gone on the wall but to save drilling in a mess I'm just going to screw it straight to there like that and get rid of this because that's not needed up there anymore it's only a two footer, but that'll be plenty bright enough for that. Um, I suppose I've got a couple of spotlights up there doing nothing aside from looking pretty. I suppose I could put a couple of coloured ones in closer to Christmas. <laughs> you know, that is actually that quiet. I could probably do that now, to be honest, but I'm not going to. It's not actually that late either. It's only quarter past eight. Uh, uh, what did I do with that? I saw a little star from that light um, somewhere. Sitting somewhere and I thought I'd better keep that to one side. Don't matter. I know where there's two or three of the buggers. Could even be in that second drawer down actually. Come to think of it. That's where it might be. Um, well, uh, Mum and Stepdad have said that if I want, I can um, tinker with me bikes over there, 
just to stop Dick Wads from bloody falsely reporting me again. You never know. I think that's what pissed me off about it the most, that it was a false claim. Because I'm the sort of person that if I was doing something wrong and got caught, I'd admit it. I've done it before when I've been caught, I'd do it again. <clears throat> but uh, I'm not doing anything wrong and still someone feels the need to try and shit on your parade, so to speak. Well, not that I've got a parade to shit on anyway. But you know what I mean. What gets my goat as well, that I know someone who is actually disabled, claiming disability, but is now running their own gardening business. I work that one out. But no one reports him. No, of course not. They just report me for no reason. Which is a... Well, it's a waste of my time, it's a waste of the DWP's time, and it's a waste of taxpayers' money. Report people who have actually done something wrong. Don't waste time just because you want to be a knob. Anyway. For some reason PayPal's being a knob as well. Sign me in, goddammit. But no, I'm not pointing you at the screen while I've got PayPal up. There's just certain things that have to stay private. If it's going to sign me in, PayPal seems to be having some issues. Although it worked when I sent a payment earlier. Yeah, I've got a blue base plate for my little layout over there. One. Cost me £3.20, which was cheap for that. Yeah, PayPal doesn't seem to want to log in. I was going to transfer the rest of that cash over now, which is about £35 in my PayPal, because I've got three items to post tomorrow, or whenever my money from PayPal goes in, if I can ever get into PayPal to transfer it. Come on, bitch. I know it's not my internet, because all the other sites are working fine. You think you missed me? <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'd do without him. I'd probably feel a lot lonely, a lot more lonely than I already do. No, it's not letting me log in. It just refreshes and comes back to that. Um, right. Oh fuck, I just hit the wrong thing. No, I've just gone to another site and that's uploaded fine. PayPal's homepage, that just come up a lot faster. Let's try again. No, it's not. I might turn the laptop on later and see if I can log into my PayPal through that. I hope. Let's go into the main page, fine, the home page. As soon as I click that login, there must be a survey issue if it's doing that. It's not throwing up any errors though. Yep, PayPal Home is uh, it's working fine. It's just login. Well, I'm not in any huge rush, but if anyone messages me asking where's my item, I can just say, well, PayPal is having issues and I can't sign in to get the money. <laughs> Which is the truth. I can't. I can't perform miracles. If PayPal won't let me in to get my money, then I can't get any money. But like I said, I'm not brassic for anything at the moment. I just want to transfer the cash over so I could, um... Fuck, that's what I forgot to bring home. I knew there was something else I wanted to bring back from Mum's. A bit of trunking for that bloody socket in there. That I put on the bedroom wall. Oh well. 
it's not too important because as you saw it's all hidden up by the desks anyway. Um, I want to get a few drawers from QDs just to do a bit more sorting there because there's some trays that need um, thinning out and uh, a few other things I want to do that I've completely forgot anyway. Um, yeah, but like I said, there's no rush for anything like that. Ooh, yodi yodi yodi. Mm. I did PayPal a little while and I'll uh, try again. In the meantime, don't really have anything to do. Not around the flat. I haven't got any bikes to lock up because I haven't used any today. Um, I suppose there's a few things I could put away in here. Um, just saves me doing it tomorrow. Um, got a few models on the floor I should pick up before I trip over them again and break another one. So I did that last night. Uh, perhaps I should put my stereo up the corner where I said I was going to put it. I'll throw some space up up here and it'll be a lot easier to. Um, Put it on the table over here, because I can just put a speaker either side. As for a crumbo tree, I could either put it over there, if I don't have a two-seater sofa by then, or where I'm standing. on a, um, I've got a wooden stool I can stand it on. Or I could just move the stereo to one side over here and put it on here. It's... Um, Alright, so I could, when it gets closer to the time, put a speaker up there, move the stereo to the end, and put the tree on the table. Might be a better idea, actually, to do it that way. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. And then I can put that stereo up there, the old vintage radio, the Philco, where that radio, where my main, hang on, where my main stereo is currently. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. And like I said, I can, uh, hopefully that will actually allow me to uh, clear a bit of room down here on the floor, so I can at least get to the bloody... Let go this. So far, I've counted that I've got four, five harvest spiders living in here. I have got one up in this corner. There was one in the corner of my bedroom. I don't know if he's still there because I threw a sock at him just for the hell of it. I felt like being an asshole. <laughs> I've got cobwebs out here, but there's nothing living in them, so I'll get rid of those ones. Um, two in the bathroom, in the same spot, actually, for some reason. There's one up there. You might be able to see a black dot somewhere. I can't even see him on screen myself. Oh yeah, can he's dead sent and now. Uh, I've got a feeling he was up that corner and he's moved. So that would make five. Two in here, one in the bedroom and two in the bathroom. But uh, them little buggers I can handle, they're all right. 
There's the big ones with uh, size 10 boots I don't like. <laughs> well, I've got to sort of this out, all that glass to pick up. Um, the cat doesn't walk down there, so that's why I've left that, but everything that had splashed out over here I've picked up with the G-Tech. So I don't want my little man getting things in his paws. And of course, there's all of this covered in glass as well. His half pint glasses don't half shower well. Bloody things. It's my fault because I stacked them up. I stacked them up, three glasses, and they fell over and one smashed. So, stupid me. Never mind. Shit happens, as I say. got an extension reel somewhere. I know I go on to random things every now and again, but I was just thinking about that because, um, again, I'm going to need a few extra sockets when, um, oh, there's that start. When I get all my Christmas lights going, because um, I have a couple of sets up on the ceiling, which I usually put the sockets for there, on a extension reel, which is what I nicked this um, length of black cable from. The only thing is, I can't remember where the extension reel is. Um, I'm just going to stick a plug back on it and use that. I don't think I'm going to use the same lights I used last year, though. Because uh, I don't know if they'll be long enough. But, uh, no, that's too early. I don't want to be talking about that for another month yet. Uh, it was, or I thought it was, in that cupboard. Poxy bloody step ladders, I keep moving them around. Uh, all that in there, and that's a big box. Probably for the recycle bin, because I ain't going to use it, but I'll just um, fill it with recycling, I think. Um, I don't know what to take an empty box down, do I? It's just dark. Right. Somewhere, I believe, in here, possibly on the shelf. Bingo! Here it is. Oh, nuts. The end of the cable I want is actually in there, and I'm not sure it's going to be long enough. Um. I have to try and pick that out of there and oops. Okay. I have to try and pick the cable out of there and see how long it is. As long as it's long enough just to go from the floor um to the shelf. That's all that matters. But uh <laughs> I did cut quite a long length off because I didn't because um, you're not supposed to use these with the c any cable still rolled up. You're supposed to unravel the lot, but that was a bit long to go from the socket down there all the way around just to there. So I just cut a length off and wired it to that four-way outlet down there. Which reminds me, I've got to put the screws back in. I can't believe that went bang and works fine now. Um, I don't trust it, though. I am going to change it. I t after that, I can't trust that that's not going to do it again if I n um, knock the socket again. Because I didn't do it hard. You know, I just, you know, as you do when you're cleaning, you just sort of toss things aside, don't you? And that's all I did with that. Just tossed it aside and it just hit the lamp and went bang. Right. Yeah. Well, I can get the finger on the cable. Whether I can actually get enough force in there to pull it out, I don't know. And, uh, ah, I might be able to gain access by taking that front off. That's something I can do later. That is. Can't even remember where I got that from. I did have two, but I loaned one to my brother, and it's, it's one of those things where you loan something out and you never get it back. <laughs> It's just as well, well, I don't know really, because I don't really use it. 
that aerial extension cable I can take down. I'm going to leave that up there. Because with the stereo here, I can just go straight from the socket to the back of the stereo with a um, shorter cable, which I've got a drawer full of. Right. Just yank that out of there, but I'll need a male. Okay. Something might be used to what that was. Okay. So there's things moving around in here, or at least the sounds of, but there's nothing obviously moved. Not that I can see, anyway. Oh well, that's my resident ghost plan tricks. I swear I'm sometimes haunted by my, my uh, deceased grandparents. And I've got a choice of three. <laughs> If you believe in ghost stays. Right. Yeah, I'll put the light up tomorrow. That's my knee that just popped. I thought that was audible on camera, but that's definitely audible to me, and I felt it. <sighs> I've got Lego bricks up there to sort. Still. I swear sorting Lego is never ending. I think I spend most more time doing that than I do bloody building. Anyway. I may open that up just for something to do. I've got screwdrivers here, so... Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to start doing my bikes over at Mum's, because that means lugging all my tools over there. And To be honest, I'm a little bit... Uh, nervous that my stepdad may borrow them and then they go walk about because I know what he's like. Never puts tools back where they came from. <laughs> Nor do I, but at least I know within reason where I've put the tools once I've used them. <laughs> but uh, he doesn't. Bless his little cotton socks. Right. Oh, I rescued this when I was at Mum's as well. It's not the best tripod in the world, but it will do for the time being. I hope. Oh. Anyway, I'm going to disappear. Because, uh, we really didn't do much over at Mum's either. Did some um, work on the laptop, installed a bunch of updates, and which took forever. Um, that's about it. Went and watched my stepdad for a little while up in the attic while he was uh, experimenting with um, an automatic uncoupler for his model railways. Um, he figured it out eventually. It's just a, it literally a case of experimenting till he um till you got all the placements right and the length of the wire right, etc., etc. But it's all done now. I wonder if what I heard move actually came from the hallway cupboard and not the bedroom. No, nope, PayPal still isn't that new login. I said if I go into eBay, I go down to that item I bought. Yes, it says paid for. Oh, weird. Oh, yeah, that reminds me, I've still got feedback to leave. Right. Just have to look through my watch list to make sure there's nothing I need or want at this moment, and there is no action, I can't see anything. 
Keyboard must have been relisted. Whew. So many items I've ended, I'm going to have to delete, I think. A bit of a clear out. First, so I can view his shop, make sure he hasn't relisted it. Looks like several items I was watching actually ended. Oh fuck, I didn't click on that, did I? Wrong one. Nearly done it again. Right. I'm just going to do this. Last one, there we go. PayPal's starting to piss me off now. Right. Well, I'm going to disappear. I may or may not do something tonight, or I may just chill out in front of the computer. Either way, thanks for watching. Subscribe, if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you like the video. And I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.